Holy oh fuck that looks good. Look at that. Oh and all diving in. Oh my goodness kids if you oh mm, that, oh look at that. oh 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 it plays nice too. Look at that. Oh yeah, double jumps. I forgot about those. So I'm not a Destiny player. I didn't play Destiny 1. Um I, I have versed many uh, first person shooter MMOs uh, akin to Borderlands 1, 2, 3, 7, 15, however many they're on now, I've played all of them extensively actually. And I have to say the feeling of these kind of games, did we have, are you guys coming? We, we gotta get moving guys. The feeling of all those games is extremely good on the older engines, the, the voxel shading works well with video cards, you know, you can get extremely high frame rates which lends, it, which lends itself nicely to clean and precise mouse movement and I have to say this game has that in droves. Oh, it's sublime. It feels so good on PC. Oh my goodness, you don't even... This is... Ah, oh, mmm. This is how a PC release should go. And and to think that they're putting this game just like as a console. Like, it, its main focus is console players. And yet they did PC this well is just... It's mind-boggling. I mean, games like PUBG can't do PC well. Granted, that's like an indie developer and this is, you know, a AAA title. Still though, I mean, you... Oh, it just feels so good. Oh my, I did miss out on the farm. I went right from, hmm, I really wish I could have got in on that, but, you know, work and the such. But, you know, the the inverted spire here, the one beta release mission, if you will, what do they call it, a raid? Yeah, mini raid, whatever. Is, is super good. Uh, coming from a Borderlands background, I this is, I am not opposed to this is, at all. I mean... The guns look cool. I mean, they're all a little bit different. You've got your heavy guns, you know, and your... I think they call kinetic, uh, energy, and heavy. But they all work extremely well. They all shoot nicely. I haven't had any issues with netcode. I mean, netcode being a buzzword, of course. You know, defining a whole genre of very, very technical things. But it plays well. I mean, considering it's not dedicated server, you know, it's just... What, what do they call that? The client hosting kind of stuff. It... It plays well, and I mean, as it should. You've got people like Bungie behind this, the creators of, of you know, the great game of Halo 2, which everybody should have played by now. I would hope that everybody knows about Halo 2. Why can't I hit this guy? There we go. It, you know, you would expect them to do good things, and boy, they haven't, they haven't disappointed right here. This is, oof, this is amazing. I kind of wish I'd played Destiny 1 now, but apparently that game was plagued with all kinds of issues that they seem to have fixed with this one. That is the reason, I would imagine anyway, in my mind, for the quick release of this game. Uh, it's, it's a complete rewrite to address certain core issues that they didn't like in the first one. And that, boy, did they do it well. This is beautiful. Granted, I have said this about betas before, such as, oh, watch the ledge, mine the cliff. Such as, uh, Battlefield 3. Uh, the Battlefield 3 beta went extremely well. It was a great beta, and then the game launched, and it was just a giant steaming pile of dog, uh, yeah, bad. It didn't go well. This game, I have no doubts. The PC version is coming two months after the Xbox and PS4 release, which is disappointing to say the least, but yeah, uh, I'm willing to wait, even though we're going to have, you know, no opportunity to try and best the raids. We're not going to have any opportunity to figure those out because they'll all be solved already. I suppose there will be some people still playing them in the, you know, regular mode, but regular mode being like they don't know what they're doing and they're just kind of trying to figure it out as they go, but that will be the vast minority of people, I would think. Yeah, I hope, I hope there's some Borderlands-esque style, like, uh, weapons, you know, just interesting things that are different. And, and, you know, I have no reason to think they wouldn't do that. I just died in a little bitch area. Oh, and before I forget, I should address the people that are, that are worried about content and, and the availability of missions right away in the launch of the game. And I'll say this. You give me a game with nothing but black and white backgrounds that feels and plays like this or better. I mean, it'd be hard to play better than this because this is just... Like I said, it's sublime. The movement is perfect. The mouse control is perfect. I mean, I would play that game. You put a competitive 8v8 in that game with just black and white, I would play it. And that probably exists somewhere, and I don't know about it, but just saying from a, a sheer feel perspective, from, from just my hand on the mouse and my other hand on the keyboard, obviously, because I'm playing on computer. That was stupid. Why did I even say that? It just feels good. It plays well, and I'm not playing well because my team is dying without me. Probably should be paying attention to what I'm doing. Oh, hey, yeah, don't kill me, please. There we go. Lots of fun, guys. Lots of fun. And I can't imagine that the release will go bad. Oh, look at the scale of her wow. Oh, if Bungie can do a background, oh my gosh, can they do it. Look at that. Oh, it's just... Man, graphics don't normally matter to me. I mean, but 
things like that aren't, I don't really count those into the graphics category, honestly. I mean, uh, skyboxes are something completely different, a complete aside. Really, anybody could make it a complex sky drop like that and not have it take a huge frame hit, but geez, they just do it so well. The sense of scale in this game is impressive. But yeah, I just want to do a quick video, guys, about Destiny 2. This game, it plays amazing. I've got a few hours in on it, and I just, I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed with the beta so far. It, for a beta, it does not feel like a beta, because, I mean, obviously, nobody puts a beta out anymore. It's not actually a beta. This is more what you would call a demo. But, I mean, ev that said, this isn't the final release, and it's, it's good. It's good. All right. I'll, I'll stop sucking this game off, and I'll, <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to finish this right now. This shit's fun, man. I'll see you later.